Hi guys, so today um, I have a really cool video for you because this is about a website, it's called MixEasy.com, so they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try out their products and, you know, share my thoughts. So I said of course because once I looked at the website, um, it is so unique, I haven't seen anything like that. Um, so I'm going to get into what MixEasy is all about and my thoughts on the different types of products. So first off, let me take you through the website. Okay, so a little bit about Mix Easy here. Um, this is the opening page here about the products that they have here. And there's no parabens, sulfate, harsh chemicals, toxins, dyes, silicone, mineral oils, oils, or animal testing. So basically all you have to do, it tells you it's really easy. It's exactly what it says here. You choose your base, whether it be dry, oily, combo, normal skin, or dry, oily, normal, colored hair. So that would be your base. And then you add up to six ingredients, you pick the scent that you want, and then that's it. Now going back up to the top where you can choose what you want, what type of formula you want. Okay, so I was able to try out the face cream, shampoo and conditioner. I didn't get to try the cleanser, but let's go ahead and do the face cream. So you get to choose from oily, normal combination or dry. I chose not normal combination for myself. And then these are the items, the different extracts, and they have some bioactives and oils down here that you can choose from. And this is the face cream. So uh, they tell you exactly what each item is for, each extract, each ingredient, all the different things. So calm, sensitive skin, if you have redness or maybe irritation, dragon's blood for cell renewal, anti-fatigue for um, antioxidants, stimulate blood circulation, improves oxygen supply, treat pigmentation. I'm going to add this one. Nourish and soften. I'm going to add that one there. Um, brighten is always a plus. Uh, let's see here. Fade dark spots. Heck yeah. Even skin texture. Oh, let's, you know what? Let's come down here. Um, you see, there's just so many great things. I really love to have hyaluronic acid in my skincare. And let's see, hydration. So again, I have the normal combination here. These are the ingredients that I chose, up to six. You click next, and then you have the four, well, actually three fragrances, and then the fragrance free. I love the honey milk. I've tried all three. The bamboo and cucumber is so strong of cucumber. It's just not my liking, but somebody else may absolutely love that. Sundance is more... Um, kind of fresh, citrusy, um, very bright is kind of what the scent is, but this one is just so comforting and sweet. It just smells great, 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 great. So let's do rejuvenation progress. That's what I named my, that I have. So add to cart. Um, and let's go back and let's try out a shampoo. I am going to try dry just because for shampoo. Nourish, always, yes. Restore, that's a plus for me. And it's the anti-frizz, stronger hair. Let's come down to the bottom here. Uh, condition, yes, definitely. Repair, always, yes. Actually, you know what, under, I think I'll save this one for the conditioner. I'll do thermal protection and repair. And I love the honey and milk fragrance again. So that is the summary of basically how to use the Mix Easy website, how to choose your products. Um, you're pretty much going to go through the same um, method for each type of product that you would like to try. And um, let's get into my thoughts of the products that I've used. Okay, so now that you know a little bit about the website and how it is and how unique it is that you can choose the products that are right for you and what you feel is what you need and what you want for your hair care and your skin care, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I had chosen. So since they have three different scents, well, four I guess you can say because one is unscented, but three different scents, I did want to try each one of the scents out so that I can say, you know, which one, of course, everybody's going to like what they like and not like what they don't like. So, um, but for my own self, I wanted to know which one was, um, the one that I liked the most. So let's start off with, um, let's do the face cream. 
because the face cream, I actually, I actually did this video before I went on vacation and it was about two and a half weeks ago and when I went to go and edit the video and everything, um, I don't know what happened, like half the footage was gone. I don't know. So there may possibly be little areas that maybe they're showing up the products that maybe I'm wearing something different. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, let me go ahead and tell you because the face cream is the item that I brought with me on vacation. Um, so I've been using this for, oh gosh, I don't know, almost a month now, I want to say. Um, and I really like this. This is actually my favorite product out of all of them. So the face cream. Um, out of the three choices between dry, oily, and combination, I chose the normal combination version. So when you choose those bases, the, all the bases are, you know, have a certain type of ingredient in them as the base, and then you get your additional ingredients. So, and plus the fragrance. So the fragrance that I chose here is the honey and milk, and I can tell you the honey milk is the fragrance that I like the most out of all three scents. Um, and it's the same sense throughout the hair care and the skin care. Um, you can name your products. Uh, this particular one, I named it Rejuvenation Progress, <laughs> just because, you know, I want to be rejuvenized. Um, and the ingredients that I had chosen in here is the Dragon's Blood Extract, Black Currant, Damask Rose Flower, Raspberry Extract, Hyaluronic Acid, and Vitamin E. This is very cool and soothing to the skin it's very very moisturizing it is it's thick however it doesn't um it doesn't feel oily like you can put it on and it feels nice on the skin it gets absorbed and i am really really loving the skincare i know i have talked about other skincare in the past but i really enjoyed this and this is not that expensive and you get 50 mls in here um, and this is going to last quite a while i like the pump um, it does dispense a lot of product so you don't need to do a full pump if you don't want to um, but i really really like this one the face cream is very very good okay so next let's move on to let's see let's move on to the shampoo they all come in these cool little fancy packaging, like very artistic and, you know, very nice packaging. Um, the shampoo and the conditioner, both of them, I chose um, normal colored. I think that, you know, because I do have color treated hair, but I think I would choose a hydration version next time. Um, just because when I use this shampoo, it didn't feel like it was very moisturizing, which I didn't think that that's what I really, really needed right now because since I've cut my hair, um, my hair isn't as dry because I guess I cut off all the dry ends and everything. But, um, so I used the shampoo and this was my least favorite of the three. Um, the scent that I chose on here, um, did I say I chose? Yes, I did. Normal colored is what I chose for the shampoo and conditioner base. You could have chosen oily or dry. So, um, let me see. I chose the Sun Dance, no, Sunlight Dance. Um, this one is nice, it's fresh, it's kind of citrusy and kind of not beachy as in coconut, but um, beachy, I don't know, it's kind of fresh and clean is what the scent reminds me of. Um, I named it Heal and Protect based on the ingredients that I had chosen. So I had chosen silk protein, amino acids, oat extract, cranberry extract, gooseberry extract, and daisy flower extract. I just feel like um, no matter how much shampoo you use, it just didn't feel like it cleaned enough. And the shampoo and, and conditioner is a little bit costly because you're adding these specific ingredients into it specifically for your needs and your wants. Um, but I feel like because it is so costly, um, you, I personally, I'm not going to say you should, but I personally wash my hair first with another shampoo, um, just to get all the grime and grit out of my hair because I don't wash my hair every single day. So I use a lot of dry shampoo. So there's a lot of dry shampoo build up in, you know, like in the roots and all that stuff. So I feel like I need to, I want to wash my hair out really, really good before using this one. Um, and then go back and use this. 
Um, but it, you know, it just, it didn't really wow me. So there's that for the shampoo. Now for the conditioner, um, this one was really surprising because, oh, first let me tell you, I chose bamboo and cucumber. It smells exactly like cucumber to me, exactly like cucumber. I have like this thing with cucumber. I, I, I mean, it's okay. It's not my favorite because I don't like to eat it. <laughs> so I don't know. I, it's weird, but I wanted to try the scent so that I could know what it smells like. Bamboo, I have no idea what bamboo smells like, so I don't know, but it definitely does smell like cucumber. Now I named it Condition My Way. The ingredients I chose in here, mind you, it's in the color treated version or base. Um, propolis extract, ginseng extract, oat extract, cranberry extract, vitamin E, and argan oil. So um, this is a very thin consistency. I thought that I was going to have to use a whole bunch of conditioner. And honestly, the first time I used it, since it was so thin, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to like this conditioner at all. But, you know, I put it in. Um, I used, you know, just to fill up my palm, the palm of my hand here, and I put it in, I kind of wrap my hair up when I'm in the shower, I'll put in all the conditioner, you know, from the, from here down, and then I'll just wrap it up and stick it on the top of my head with a little clip, and then finish doing whatever I gotta do in the shower, and then when I took it out and I rinsed it, I was really surprised, because since it is almost, not watery, but it's a very thin consistency con conditioner, boy, that's a tongue twister, um, it really left my hair really soft and it felt really smooth. You know, sometimes you use conditioner and it just doesn't feel like conditioned or anything. It just kind of feels like a little dry. I was really surprised since it was so thin. So the conditioner was really good. Um, so with the three items, again, the face cream was my favorite. I love this one. I'm so glad that I took this on vacation with me. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one. This is really good. And I think um, the next time, there's so many ingredients. I wish you could add more ingredients to it, but maybe you can get like maybe different versions of it for different reasons or different seasons or, or what have you. So all the ingredients that I chose to stick in here obviously were more towards the anti-aging to you know improve elasticity and tighten up my skin um, and different things like that. So... Uh, I don't know, there's just so many awesome ingredients in here that I would have loved to add. Um, and by the time I got done going through all the extracts, I realized, hey, I didn't use any bioactives and oils. So I had to take away some of the extracts to add some of the oils in there. You can choose for acne prone skin, dry skin, um, oily skin, anti-aging. So you just read what all those ingredients are for and you can choose your, per your perfect little mix. So um, that is that. Um, I really liked it. It was a great experience. It's pretty cool that you can choose these specific ingredients and in your own specific mixture that you want. Um, that is just super, super unique. Um, I don't know. I, th I think you should at least try it out, I, especially for the skincare. I'm like really, really honing in on skincare and I have been for, for many, many years. Um, since I was in my 20s, I've been making sure that I take care of my skin. My biggest problem that I feel like I have is hyperpigmentation. It comes and it goes, it comes and it goes. Um, like I just went on vacation now, so I have a lot of pigment here on my cheeks and on my forehead. I use a lot of concealer to cover up those areas. I'm thinking about possibly doing um, a foundation, like foundation routine. I'm just very, very, like if you've seen any of of like maybe I've done makeup in the past in some way back videos. I mean, you'll have to search back, back, way back in the videos for makeup videos. But um, so I'm thinking that the next version I'm gonna concentrate on not only anti-aging and, and stuff like that, but stuff for um, hyperpigmentation. And I think that if you are into skincare as I am, that you would really appreciate being able to make those specific choices for yourself. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you again in another video.